I fucking I'm always this close to just uninstalling it off my computer because that's how I feel about the game nowadays and the funny thing is a lot of the time people tell me that I play RimWorld the same way I play would like most people would play Dwarf Fortress so who knows maybe I would have been great at it if I had have learned how to play but I didn't have much incentive to want to learn how to play um, and I don't have a lot of free time to like spend um, learning how to play something that's kind of it was complex to me. I'm sure a lot of people find it like easy as piss, but it was a bit much for me in the time when I was also taking on all kinds of like learning how to stream and edit and um, how to like manage my stream and all sorts of stuff. So it was a lot and I don't have much incentive or desire to go back to ever trying it. Jeez, we've already got 60 simple meals. I'm going to have to increase that. Um, I can totally see that happening, unfortunately. It does happen. It happens to all kinds of people. I just, I was so new to streaming that that was too toxic for me at the time. Like, I'm sure if I had have given it a go now, with the experiences that I've got with streaming now, I very likely would have just told, like, turned around and told people to fuck off if they're going to be like that, you know, instead of being like, please don't do that, please leave if you don't like it kind of stuff. I would have just been like, yeah, you're getting banned. Like you said one sentence and you're gone forever, you know. I, I'm a bit of a different person than when I started streaming, but I'm still mostly the same me. I just don't allow people to get away with shit. Like, it's not okay, you know. Don't harass me, don't harass my community, or you won't be part of it, you know. That kind of goes. Um, I've had bad experiences with the community. I find that you have like particularly bad experiences with a few communities, so a waiver. You haven't had like a very successful run with a few different places, honestly, with Minecraft and Discord and some other things as well. So, which is unfortunate. Some people do just get a bad run um, with certain communities and stuff, or it's like language barriers or, you know, whatever kind of thing. Um, yeah, I remember asking how Dig Down I got made fun of for us for it, but I think it's because there was a lot of elitists back then. I don't know what it's like now. I don't know what it's like now. I think there was also a fine divide as well between, you know how there was like the black and white version of the game and then there was the coloured edition that came out? I got it when the coloured edition kind of came out and that kind of like sparked some interest with me because I'm like, it was a little bit along the concept of RimWorld and I liked RimWorld and I'm like I'm willing to give a different game a go and see what that's all about and if I like it I'll keep playing it um but I think I probably got like a few people that were probably like real big fans of the OG original like black and white and were like not really super fans of like anybody coming in and playing the other ones like I don't know black and white there was, there was like, um, I don't know, the older version just didn't have all the graphics and stuff. It was very sort of basic background kind of thing. And it reminds me of like old like Windows and DOS and stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway. What's a, a, a C law? Um, I don't know. I just figure that shit's in the past now. I will occasionally get asked about it. Like if I'm interested in it, if I played it, if I will play it and all that stuff. And the general answer is no. Um, if I ever do choose to play the game ever again, it sure as shit won't be on stream. Um, like I might potentially maybe open it one day to like have a look and like figure it out and stuff privately. But I have no personal desire to like jump in and, and get that shit rolling on stream. Especially if I'm still in like a learning phase. Like RimWorld I've been playing for a couple of years before I streamed it. I had actually terminated a huge colony. Not as big as this, like half the size of this, but it was a huge colony for me before I started streaming. So that I could start streaming because I wanted to start from scratch. And I'm like, I had managed to hold down like a colony of like 170 people for like a year or so. And I'm like, I assumed that I kind of know enough to play this game. And like I chose to play PUBG as like my first game and stuff because I'm like I don't have any concern about that. I know what I'm doing with PUBG, right? So um, like there's no worries that I'm gonna do something and it's not gonna be 
you know, um, I don't know, like I'm kind of like send my way kind of thing. I think these have got enough, like they're waiting on like a bit of clothes, but I reckon people have probably picked them up. So I'm going to send them as they are, because I reckon they'll be fine. But yeah, like once you kind of know what you're doing and you're kind of set and how to play, um, it doesn't have a, like other people's opinions about what you're supposed to be doing doesn't matter as much kind of thing. But because I didn't know how to play Dwarf Fortress, I did care if people could give me advice and shit on it, but I'm not open to it anymore. Um, if, like I said, if I choose to play it, it won't be on stream and I'll like look up stuff in my own time, you know. I highly suggest playing it on your own. Maybe you can ask friends for help when but learning on stream if this is a bad idea because there's a lot of conflict to do this and somebody else be like, no, do that. You yeah, know, I had shit like that and I'm like, who do I trust? Like if I take one person's opinion over another and like, I don't know which one's right because I'm learning the game, but then it's insulting to the other person who suggested it because it's like, well, they suggested that I give this thing a go and I've taken the other person's thing you know that's why I wanted this I wanted this to be to shred them I realized I made the wrong thing but it's okay I think I've smelted most of my swag so it should be fine I love how that cat's just straight up eating an egg in front of that chicken like that's not disrespectful at all you know um what else have I got to do I made beds I'm just trying to keep track to make sure I'm doing stuff I've made clothes with yeeted clothes how's my allies they're 55% neutral, and I only have one more transport pod I can eat, so I kind of want to fill that with crap. I am running out of space. I could say that they could put the crappy apparel here. Let's do that. Manufactured... I don't want textiles. I want apparel. Yeah, I want all the apparel to go outside. And I want this in section to not be apparel. That way we can have a little bit extra space. They can put that outside and when this kind of fills up, I'll launch it. Inspired creativity, Doug. Bloody Doug. You know what? Somebody had like inspired recruitment and I'm now seeing like one less prisoner. And I'm thinking what's happened is I had somebody get recruited earlier and I didn't see it. Either that or somebody died and I wasn't aware of it. Hold on. Uh, Nagura. I'm not seeing anybody new. I just want to keep an eye on that because I saw somebody had inspired recruitment and sometimes if it's enough they'll assimilate somebody, you know. But yeah, Tyrant's like still 15. You're down to like 1.4 which would be great and you're like 2.3 which is getting there. We've got three days till winter and I've got... Most of this looks like it's harvestable, so I'm gonna see if I can get them out here to harvest it. Yes, most of it is harvestable. This isn't getting like re -sewed. no. Okay. So we've got, if this is working in here, I noticed that since I opened that up, so I made extra grow lights. We are struggling with power. I did also connect the power at one point to each other because we didn't have enough power throughout the base. But if I had steel, if I could connect up that, we would probably have enough, honestly, to get it done. Uh, that reminds me too, I was digging stuff. I guess we dug that. I probably don't have enough steel to make this, do I? I'm gonna risk it. I don't really want to touch it, but I'm gonna send a fleet of miners down here and hope to hell this doesn't open. Because, like, it looks like it closes there, hopefully. And honestly, this is slate too, so I kind of want that shit. But if we can open this, I think I'll get, like, a decent, like, chunk of compacted steel out of all this. I've got a lot of people that can do mining. So if they... Here we go. She's, she's sick as going to sleep. I was going to say, if she's running down here already, that'd be great. How are we going for temperature in here? 21... Yeah, no, that's that's heated. They have warm indoors. Um, I do find it really unfortunate that I haven't really gotten quick with community. I don't know. I think you're, like, a good member of my community. I don't really have, like, any concerns about that. I think everybody likes you too. Some people absolutely love the random questions you ask because they 
it encourages people to understand that you can just ask me fucking almost anything out of the blue and I, I don't care. It doesn't disrupt the game. It doesn't disrupt my like mindset of whatever I'm doing. Like it, it does encourage people to like come forwards and ask a question if they want to and stuff, which is really nice. Because, you know, some people, some streamers aren't okay with that. And so people are sometimes scared to ask. So, yeah, I think you're good for my community. You're a good sort of person in my community kind of thing, you know. You've also been here a really long time too as well. So I would consider yourself as having a clicked community here. I've always said that for like ages. Um, I mean like in games and hobbies and such, I don't know, I guess this isn't in like games and hobbies. I would consider like watching streamers as kind of like hobby stuff though. Like I, I'm not clear on that either because like until becoming a streamer I never watched streamers. I watched streamers on YouTube, like off like repurpose their highlights and stuff onto YouTube. But like I never actually like went out of my way to like watch streamers and stuff until I was one myself. Um, so I don't know, I would count that as kind of along the lines of like, not quite like watching a TV show or something like that, but I would consider it kind of along the same capacity as having like a show that you enjoy watching, a uh, community that is like asleep in there, is it? No, it's open. Like having a community that you're part of, that you're comfortable like interacting with, stuff like that. Like, I don't know, I'd think of it like that, maybe. I, I really don't know. <laughs> like yesterday I played a Minecraft server. Was it? I played a Minecraft server and I was like, I really like this server, it's fun to play. You made fun of me for saying that. I don't know. I think that's everybody else's fucking problem if they're gonna make fun of you for like, just saying that you're enjoying playing something. It could also be that they're like a group of people and they've forgotten to set it to like private or something like that and they're like, you know, this one random person as long as they don't like cause problems we'll just leave them. Some places do that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be warm enough at the end here but I think it is. But yeah, I don't know, I think people are kind of like a bit arsely if they're going to like really pull it up about you just enjoying something you enjoy. I make limestone floors to get rid of this. All the um, all the animal. Oh, sorry. All the what is that? Crops where I don't want crops to be. And I'm gonna. This will give them something to do indoors too through winter. But I do want to like build other areas too. But I should have a whole fleet of people coming in here. How are we going for the compacted steel? Should be. 44 steel, 49 steel. Yeah, that's going to give us heaps. If I could get somebody to come and work on exclusively these. Like Lincoln May, I know you can work on stuff. Can you come up here? I know that he'll like work on most of this, right? He'll use whatever steel he can pick up and he'll put it through here. But if I can get them to connect this, we'll have additional power. And that's gonna help. Like if I could build something there that would help too, but I'm not gonna get built. Yeah, and the community I somewhat gotten click with is my little pony community. Honestly, my little pony community was seriously some of the most welcoming community of people I believe to have fucking ever existed. There are others out there, but in this time period I feel like it's one of those ones where it really was like open to a lot of people. Unfortunately, a lot of people were unfortunately closed to it. Um, but I I think they were great. I was part of that for anybody that didn't know. I was like very, very lightly a part of it. I was like silently watching. <laughs> I'm always fucking silently watching. This needs to be closed because that is not a sealed space. I just spotted that. That's a problem for winter. The first argument I had with them was which pony is the best. Obviously... Yeah, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Everybody has their favourite, so everybody's opinion of who's best pony is correct to themselves and everybody else is effectively wrong. Um, so, yeah, I'm not I'm not walking that topic. No fucking way am I walking down that topic. It's like death, nearly. It's not. It's over-exaggerated. But, like, seriously, it's, it's like basically, like, what's your favourite food kind of thing 
kind of a topic. So it's not deaf. I'm exaggerating. But it's like saying, like, what's your favorite food? Everybody's going to have a different food. A few people are going to have an overlapping favorite food. But, like, for the most part, a lot of people are going to feel very, very strongly about their favorite food, you know. So there's not much point in saying, hey, um, you know, uh, this is the best because somebody will counter that with like nostalgia or something very specific to them that means a lot to them you know um so yeah i don't try to like force that one i'm gonna see if i can get him to finish building this so like i said if i can get if i can get lincoln and anasan and maybe some other people to like work on this before everybody else just steals all the steel It'd be really, really great. Like, Sackle is hopefully just... He's hauling it to heaters and stuff, which is great. But I need other stuff built first. I see you, Keelan. What are you doing yarn at me? How you doing? Um, I'm trying to... Like, Sackle, I don't want you to kind of take that to a heater, but can you do construction? You can. Um... Be partially built. Like, I do need the heaters. Don't get me wrong. I do need them. But between Onaisan and Lincoln, I don't know if we'll have enough here. We got Tyran earlier for Tyrantha. Keelon, so we're making some progress, but I pissed off my same ally again to get him. So that's happening. Um, we also made some indoor sleeping areas for the animals, as you can see. Um, so hopefully they'll be warm in winter. We're trying. It's like 30 something degrees in there between the two, like double boxing. So we'll see. Um, good thing about MLP community is the crossovers. Some of the crossovers are great, honestly. Some of them were so fucking subtle. I'm going to see if I can build up the other hospital. I actually want this hospital to be bigger by a little bit. So I kind of want to take it up by like two, but it's going to, like, I don't need that to stay there. But, um,. I'm going to map it out and see if I can make this bigger because I don't like how small this room is. Um, my favorite thing about them is community crossovers. Working on sniper build once human. If I reach 50k damage, shot average, Jesus. I'll be playing once human all next week just to give you a heads up as well. I want a chance to actually kind of like keep up a bit. I'll be playing it Friday as well. I'm like level 38, but I'm still only playing in like the... Um, level what do you call it i'm only playing down in the um level 10 and 12 area which i kind of want to um i want to get past that you know i actually want to play so i'm gonna give it a solid crack at trying to catch up with a lot of the um what do you call them like quests and challenges and shit preferably that would be ideal i think that's where i want to put it there but yeah I was wondering how your um, site and stuff's going. If um, you've had much traffic and stuff, Gillen. Just out of curiosity. Also, a waiver out of interest, my favorite pony was a combination of like, I like Rarity and I like Luna. That's kind of where I am with that. Like, at first, I really liked Rainbow Dash. I kind of like really liked her because I'm like I was always like really sporty and shit and I'm like I relate to that and then um and then we kind of had like Rarity kind of got more and more like I don't know just hilarious as time went on oh hello Frank Council was fun uh says the friend has been wounded and traveling victim is shyly is 54 year old gigolo jesus Trev has nobody to spare. There's 11 turrets, one mortar, two pirates. Defend the site and there may be unknown threat. There's 11 turrets, but it's not specifying how many people. Where are you? Oh, that's like a week of traveling. That's like a week in the snow. Oh, I don't know if I can get to that before they're just going to die, actually. Uh, let me have a look at that quest again. Are they hurt? They're wounded while traveling. It's not going to tell me anything about them either. I don't think I can get to them. I mean, I could try, 
I could take a massive group for that. Don't incapacitate it. I kind of want to help them. What is the supplies for Offleton? What is this? Rumbo fur. That's right, I was supposed to be doing that. Where are they? Uh, they are way, way far away. Even though I've got the fur for that, that's going to have to go in the bin. Um, I'm sorry, I zoned out. Did not hear the question. And it's all good. Um, I don't quite remember. I sort of don't want to send somebody out here, but they're like, orange will have, what, lasting trauma if they die. Um, if you manage to rescue, they'll be very happy for a long time. I guess... I don't think we've got that much food, but I guess I can send... I can send a few groups. I don't want to send all my gunners, but I'll send a few. Three, four, five, six seven little group of seven i'm not cool with this but we'll see i'll send like a couple of little groups i could ride out on my thrombos because they could fight with me if i wanted to you don't matter this i see you dancing um i do have a few horses a lot of my horses are pregnant though i guess we could take those with um take a couple of horses we could ride with them that's like 400 we'll see if we can get enough food to take with me it's so good to see you, Prolic. No, I appreciate that, Merciless. Um, it always feels like that. What? It's making food a science. Depends who you ask, honestly. Never mind the screen clipping feature. I'll be right back. No worries. Yeah, I legit can't remember what I said. Um, I will take kibble and shit. Um, so far, I only had one customer, but he left satisfied. Nice. I'm good to hear it. Um... Let's see, simple meals. I don't want to take all the simple meals, but if one group has like a shit ton of food, I'm not that worried about it because they'll collectively have it. I don't think this is worth my time to do this, honestly. Like I'm thinking about it right and we do have like a lot of like raw food and I will have one person. I'm not going to go on this caravan. I know it will make them happy for a long time. I know that it will give me potentially a person. I'm gonna have to strongly say no because it's two days out from winter and I don't have the kind of food to do that trip. I was hoping maybe I had a little bit stockpiled because it was kind of like, it was kind of showing me I had like a bit, like I got 39 packaged survival meals but and 71 like simple meals, but I don't have enough to send an entire like squadron to fight that. Especially 11 turrets suggests that there's probably about that many people give or take so they usually like turrets are not the worst but I can't like sap them down and stuff you know unfortunately if we have that's the other thing I want to get is this thing made I know Lincoln's still working on it can I get you guys I know that you're going off to stuff but if I can just get you all to drop what you're holding because what I want is I think Mitz can build no not her you can Vincent, mate, can you come with me for like five minutes and just absolutely rip into that building? Because I just need the resources right now. Like these guys can go back to what they're doing. The ones digging can go back to what they're doing. Um, the cooking is chemistry. Yeah, actually it is kind of chemistry to be fair because it's mostly just like mixing different like food chemicals, which are, well, the ingredients basically and like making a dish out of it different combinations of like dishes from the same ingredients which requires a bit of skill um i don't know if any of those walked off with stuff but i'm hoping that none of them did i'm just going to keep an eye on them because if they they walk off with the steel and i need it to build this like i should have enough where did there's vincent all right, they're still hauling it. Ratai is working on the machining table. Cool. Um, I missed some stuff there. Yep. Mixture of ingredients, heat and cold related. And was it interactions, fermentation? Yeah, that is accurate. Vincent, I need you to come back and work on this. I don't know where you're getting the steel from. I think they might be grabbing it from up here. But that is really fucking far away when you have steel like right here by comparison. As long as there is enough to get this built, then I can access these and then we can actually get cooking with some real steel in the space. Puns intended, of course. What does it mean that I'm good at chemistry? 
it's a variation of it. You would be, is it gastro? Is this gastro something? Gastrometry or something? Is like food chemistry, I think. I don't know the exact word, but I feel like that's the thing. Um, but yeah, you can get like really, really good with like food chemistry stuff. And like, I've been to a fancy restaurant before that's done like dissected tomato soup and it's just like clear water that tastes like tomatoes. <laughs> it was weird. I was not fond of it. But you know what? They're creative people and they did some amazing shit that I never thought of. But, um, would not pay for that again. Um, inexperience, to be fair. Shut up, Basilis. <laughs> I know you've heard that and, like, you're just laughing. It's like, I paid a lot of money to get clear tomato sauce or tomato soup water, basically. It was supposed to be refreshing. That was kind of the point of it, but I don't know. I didn't feel that way about it after eating it. Is this one? Are we mining it? Yeah, mine the vein. I don't know if they're going to mine it or not, but I'm keeping an eye on this because I want them to finish building this. So I'm keeping an eye on Vincent. I'm going to do chemistry in the future now. As long as I'm allowed to use a pen or the cooking materials, I think I'd be good at chemistry. I mean, it, yeah, for the most part. Vincent, you're not having a snack. Get back on it. We've got to put a little bit more steel in there, and I don't know if I've got components around the place, actually. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, we got plenty of components. So I just got to get in the steel and everybody's grabbing steel for like everything right now um, I also need to fill that up once we get enough clothes, which I think we've got a fair bit of clothes, but we can wait a little bit longer um, what else is it? You very well may have a natural talent for it. May so explore the field. I agree with that I think if you got like a talent along that way and you do have talent with cooking and stuff if you're ever looking for an avid avenue and like a career or something like that cooking might be something that works for you or at least like the hardest part with any job is getting through the shit starting part like for instance the beginning of somebody cooking usually involves like doing like prep work and cleaning the area and stuff like that instead of actually doing the cooking for like a while so that you can get respect for your space and stuff um like same applies for like hairdressers and stuff. Usually it involves learning how to sanitize tools and keep an area clean until you can actually like, you know, learn the theory and get taught some like methods and stuff. Um, because they, whatever your skills are will generally for some degree be disregarded in a professional setting because they'll want you to follow theirs. So the only problem you might have a waiver is, you know how you hated how the teachers did like the spaghetti at your class and stuff. Like the problem you might be potentially following a recipe at say a restaurant or something like that to their specifications. Even if you think it's shit, you have to do it because it's their restaurant, it's their food, it's their ingredients and shit. Um, it's their customers and stuff. That's the only downside to like going down that sort of avenue is like tolerating the crap of knowing that something's shit and not being allowed to change it. I don't think I'd ever be a chef because I heard that's a lot different. Being a chef is very difficult. It's a challenging job in general. Come back here, Vincent. I'm watching you. You are not cooking a simple meal. You are finishing this. You just need to go get components and then we'll have this and then we can get that. So I'm on him. I saw him running off to get a simple meal. What, what the fuck? You could be a professional chef but not like restaurants and stuff. You could be a personal chef, yeah. That is something that people can do as well is like if you're good like if your specialty is like home cooked meals some people will pay to have a meal that tastes like home and is comforting when they get home and stuff so yeah that is an option that's brilliant actually um it's something that like some people will overlook and sometimes go like the highest end options and like fancy and all sorts of shit. And sometimes people just want simple, warm and comforting meals, you know. Um, it's just a simple little thing that sometimes gets overlooked. I'm actually considering making this out of limestone for the um, hospitals, honestly. Because uh, I have a lot of the blocks and I think it would help it stand out a bit. So I might as well. The only problem is I do have to move my um, my comms thing over a bit. That's fine, we can work with that. The only problem is it might be... I don't want to let it get any closer to that. I do like having the space there. 
uh, the only other option would be to make it 